Hi, hello, namaste to all my listeners. I'm your host, Sartak Varshne, and I welcome you all to the Balls of Steel show, where you get an insight into the business mindset of the entrepreneurs. Dhandoni Soch. Hi, Pratik, and welcome to the Balls of Steel show, Dhandoni Soch. How are you doing? Hey, Sartak. Hi, going good. Uh, thank you for having me on the podcast. Uh, really looking for engaging an insightful conversation over the course of this over the course of this podcast. <laughs> I'm excited to talk to you about this amazing topic that we have, but I'll come down to the topic towards the next thing. So, guys, before we move forward, let me introduce you all to Pratik. So, Pratik, in my simplest words, is a very uh, amazing people's person and believe me he's really great at it so uh, and you know what he has designed developed and delivered end to end human capital ecosystem from scratch for lots and lots of companies mid size large companies high growth companies and what not so many terminologies that honestly you know i'll mess it up myself so not won't be going into that detail but currently he's putting all of his expertise to work at zimio so pratik is that right you design all of the people stuff that that's that's yeah that's absolutely right uh, it's it's over the over the course of my experience uh, i've been fortunate to uh, you know work across all the areas of human capital and uh, yeah design develop and deliver uh, you know to organizations uh, uh, in 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 helping the workforce uh, uh, in helping the workforce uh, get to high performance Right, you know, I really like this term that uh, you know, design, develop, and deliver, which uh, is a part of your, uh, you know, personality and the way you cater to this, uh, organize like to the HR stuff while working along with people. I really, you know, appreciate this thing. This sounds so good to me. Design, because you know, it's like you design something for the people. That actually looks amazing honestly okay so uh so moving on guys uh zimio if i talk about zimio pratik zimio has been so much into the news recently you know get being from being funded to closing amazing deals and uh, lots and lots of news making a hype around uh the news right now so how's it going inside uh it's 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 a mad house you know to be honest and that's the positive part of it yeah we have we have we, we have been in news uh, uh you know and uh, that's because of the phenomenal work that's happening on the inside uh, we right. we are an employee experience company a true employee experience company uh, and our our vision is to empower organization enable leaders and organizations to give their employees true employee experience uh, which is basically improve the quality of life their improve their quality of decisions and to not right. just limit it to making one of their days or a short term happy uh, so that's that's where uh, and that's that's what we are up to and uh, yeah i mean uh, the entire team uh, you know uh, if if we look at them uh, they they are super motivated and inspired and aligned with this purpose and all of which which can be seen in our products uh, uh which, which uh, seen in our products which are coming out so yeah i mean uh, being a true employee experience company uh, something that we are driving it on the inside it's phenomenal wow that's that's actually looks like a madhouse to me when i'm listening from the outside perspective okay but uh, i'll get into the details of this this madhouse something which i actually do with all my podcasts i dive deep into the details but let me introduce everyone to the topic that you know a topic for today's discussion especially with pratik is that you know why the employee experience is broken in the country and uh, uh, i really need to talk about it because first of all you know uh, the comp Nizamir itself, as far as I know, that and I've heard about it. Uh, you're developing a product which is employee driven. Plus, employees, I believe, you know, they make up the most important part of the company. And for any company, it's very, very important to take care of the employees, and they do it by many means. Yet, we have heard so many stories of employees uh, falling out, and you know, so many stories of uh, employees not being happy. So Pratik, if I go deep into this, why don't you tell me from your experience of uh, 
working with so many companies that uh, how what have you made out of this experience that why not it did, what all you've learned after working uh, with these companies than being the people's person you are sure sure sir that so essentially uh, there are there are few things that 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 uh, are fundamental to organizations continuing success uh, basically uh, ownership and accountability uh, critical behaviors you know what kind of critical behaviors are are directly impacting our business outcomes uh, what are we going to measure now what are we going to measure that that encompasses lot of things which are key to organization success to to the business outcomes uh, these are mm. these can possibly be lot more like a, a trust a credibility capability collaboration etc uh how are our rewards and recognitions aligned in driving in, in basically incentivizing this in in driving this uh, and overall yeah i mean the alignment of uh, human capital mm-hmm. uh, to the organization's purpose uh, so right. if if these these are the fundamentals of building a high performance organization and if any of these goes missing uh, or is not uh align with with the rest of them uh it more or less it, it results into a fault line and organizations end up spending a lot of effort which is non optimal uh you know so in 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 addition to this you know in what we have seen on this side of the continent is like there there are three types of companies which which, which uh, exist uh the first are the mostly for the lack of the better word i like to call them baniya companies you know which <laughs> which uh, which which who uh. absorb or squeeze every ounce of energy uh, you know from from their human capital uh, and right. you will see them uh, uh, these are like common sites across uh, one doesn't have to go, go in search right. of them uh, the second one are lot more which are focused on employee engagement uh they mm-hmm. these companies they try to build certain ambiance where, where they are able to uh, uh to give a platform to their human capital with lot of other enablers uh you know mm-hmm. uh, which uh, which uh, which in their understanding uh will yeah. help the employees perform better that essentially is employee engagement uh, uh for 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 quite a lot of companies the third kind of companies uh, where where we have seen employees actually perform to their potential uh, are right. the ones are the ones which focus on uh, trust uh, you know they focus a lot more on building organizational trust i mean that's that's the currency and that's the capital they keep building on continuously and with these companies uh, the performance uh, and uh, the performance and the uh, involvement of people the commitment of the human capital is maximum uh, so yeah these are the three companies uh, three types of companies which which we have seen uh, over our experiences uh, wow that's that's quite a detailed uh, explanation of your experience that's nice honestly i wasn't expecting aap mujhe itni detail mein bataoge but then i really appreciate you know getting all such information about the different types of companies and honestly of, out of all these things my favorite is the baniya company so <laughs> <laughs> oh, they 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 are they are in thousands uh, uh, you know so definitely and and actually that's uh, that's what we try to do at simio uh, uh, tell the baniya companies of how they can get to the third part of being driven by trust uh, where they get right. maximum uh, uh, well where they get to see their people perform to the truest potential i get it i get it i get it. but you know i guess i should break the ice to i'm a bunny i too <laughs> and i'm running my company also but guys no i don't run a bunny company so please do not put me in that category but yes okay so jokes aside uh, 
So moving on from this part, you know, this is actually very, very insightful from the experience that you have told me and I can actually put out a lot of stuff. And, you know, it makes me realize that trust, credibility and accountability, these are uh, an employee engagement, probably these are some of the few factors which somehow goes missing in a lot of companies. And uh, this is what probably needs to be taken care of as well. And, you know, this is what, Zimmer is also trying to do so with this you know I actually come to my next question uh, that since it goes missing in so many companies and we have seen that many big companies actually have people to take care of such uh, such roles but Zimmer being in its early age they have hired someone for employee leadership role that is exactly you with whom I'm having this amazing conversation so VP people and culture so why did Zimmer actually take this step at such an early age uh sure so this this yeah i mean uh, you are absolutely right uh there are so many companies i mean zimio is one of those few companies uh which which has gone for uh, a people leadership role at a very early age and if we see other visionary companies uh that is where we'll, we'll spot the trend that yeah most of the companies who, who believe in purpose uh who have a strong vision uh they they have been they have been building their people capabilities and and it's so important for an early age company i i'm i'm glad you touched the right note over there that why should an early age company go for a people leadership role uh that's because for an early age company every employee needs to be an ambassador of the company i mean they are they're just not an employee of the company they are the the face of the company because mm. this 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 the company is so new to the world uh, uh we we are trying to create a tribe over here which which not only uh, resonates with our purpose but does everything to defend and to make it successful uh with which is aligned to our purpose so uh, that's something uh which can which can only happen uh or which can happen in a very focused way when there is a lot more focus given on building people capabilities uh in addition to building trust employee experience uh, uh mm. and the scalability of culture and values so you know, that's that's the uh, that's the why of of this role uh with respect to our our uh, with respect to our organizational phase okay mm-hmm. okay so that was quite something on the letter quite something you gave me good amount of knowledge that i will have to process and i will process that for sure okay but yes i do make out a lot of things out of it that you know the uh, that at at any age matlab you to you know honestly you know you said that for company like zimio you know, uh, every employee is the ambassador of the company right but i personally feel that uh, for any company their employees are their first ambassadors their employees are their first marketers mm. that's they are the one who takes the word out of the company mm. right next is whatever you know the company puts up in the marketing and all those other campaigns but if employees are driven in the right manner so i guess that itself will make a lot of difference with the company and the future of the company so talking about this thing and you know the lots of stuff that you are making uh it happen making things happen at zimio so why don't you tell me in detail that what exact things are you like making things better at zimio sure so coming to the specifics uh, the the most important accountability of this role uh, is to get our people aligned to our purpose uh mm-hmm. populate our culture uh you know so that we are able to live those behaviors day in day out uh, and equally have our values uh, you know have our, have our people resonate with the kind of values that that we think are are most important uh in in the pursuit of reaching this purpose uh that's that's the key part uh of uh, Uh, of of this role uh, right. uh so when i say purpose you know our our purpose uh, is to give a zimio experience to thousands of 
companies where where they where where they are able to enable uh, their employees uh, with mm-hmm. with a true employee experience. Now, this true employee experience is not just making them happy for a day or so, uh, mm-hmm. you know, or not just you know getting them to an offsite or give them uh, a goodie bag or uh, you know or, or or to give them something. This this true employee experience is is basically how how they can improve their quality of decisions which can which which relates a lot more to their work which relates a lot more to their career uh, which relates a lot more to their capabilities uh, you know how they can improve their decisions how they can improve their quality of life uh, with data so that's mm-hmm. that's one part of it the second part uh, is because we are an employee experience company uh, for for me what we are doing outside the the inside of it is a lab for me you know so while i while my accountability is to make everybody successful over here i equally uh-huh. try to play a devil's advocate uh, so what what i what i mean by that you know so something we did uh, with our employees is uh, in terms of employee experience that uh, we we gave them wrong play slips uh, uh, just uh, just 6 days back so we had their pay slips wrongly uh-huh. printed uh, we had the pay slips uh-huh. wrongly printed and deliver it to them uh, uh, okay uh, and uh, if if you possibly ask me why you know why would somebody do uh-huh. the, in the sanest uh-huh. of the minds like my job is uh-huh. my my job is to is to motivate them uh, you know get right. nudge them to nudge them to uh enable and ask them to uh, on how they can right, right. perform better right. uh but yeah i mean we 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 thought of something like this uh, so you you literally did that i mean you're not kidding me over this this is not a story you literally did that your all the senior leader leadership allowed that to happen letting a wrong pay slip out uh, means this happened Yeah, absolutely. And when I say wrong, pay slip, it's not the name. It's not the name which went wrong. It's the number which went wrong. Are you uh, kidding me? You put the numbers wrong. I mean, this would honestly, if I were I was an employee, I would have been enraged on that. It, so how did the employees react, and how was this? How did this experiment turn out to be? This is this is quite amazing to know, and this is. insane of a step that you have taken and yes no company would take this step in their true to the sanity this is mind boggling to me so how how was it like tell me more so yeah i mean if if uh, if i was on your side and if i was hearing the same thing maybe my reaction would have equally been same uh, but yeah mm-hmm. uh, there was this uh, what what triggered this is that we are an employee experience company uh and mm-hmm. till the time we don't have our people empathize with what can go wrong in the system uh, which is used by our clients uh and how do we reverse engineer our systems to make it mm-hmm. the most efficient you know we cannot we cannot claim uh you know we 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 cannot claim to have made to have made a perfect product uh you know so which is why you know now once an employee gets a wrong pay slip uh you know or what our folks did was figure out why is my pay slip wrong and that's where they started you know that's where there were numerous permutation combinations that where was the system wrong was my attendance not captured was my grade put differently was my shift assigned differently they went through the entire uh I would say it's oh almost it's almost a treasure God. hunt. It's almost a on system treasure hunt, uh, which which they got into. And I mean, of so what what happened in this entire exercise is they figured out what happens when a pay slip goes wrong, and that's something which which we have been very careful from day one when it comes to our clients mm-hmm. that this has to operate at a six sigma level. no matter what because getting that number wrong on a pay slip it hits the employee morale badly i mean that that's that's a cardinal sin uh, so when we make our folks go through the same 
you know we uh, now we now know the pain uh, and and the beauty of this is that they then we are now we are, we are reverse engineering the entire system of even when an employee gets a wrong pay slip how on the same day they can have it remedied and get the right slip right pay slip on that day itself so oh we, my god okay 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 so that is quite an experience yeah it's quite an experience that you're going to honestly i cannot cannot buy this stuff here that you guys did this experiment just to make your employees realize that how would an ex employee feel who probably might be using your service and uh, and how he should actually feel using the service Absolutely. this is insanely great i would say so i mean you assume you being at such an early age and the way i see it, the big picture that i'm seeing at right now is like you know honestly being an apple fan it's like something apple does apple says something that its products should be usable by even a layman and they should feel the product and you're making your employees feel the product so that they're able to generate that amazing service which other companies enjoy absolutely huge uh, absolutely so i I'll, I'll, i'll tell you something which we also discovered and this was lot more of serendipity so when the wrong okay. when the wrong pay slips uh, uh, got out you know i mean that's the first thing which everybody looks at uh, uh uh-huh. wake up uh, uh because our pay slips get generated in the morning and uh, is the first message which hits out you won't believe this is something which we discovered very unintentionally but this was a huge positive that nobody came you know there was no escalation of any sort till the time we re- reached midday you know uh, all our employees and that's where that's where the organizational trust which we spoke which we spoke so much of that it uh-huh. holds so much of importance in employee experience that our folks trusted us so much i mean uh, uh, you know that they knew that this this would have happened with everybody uh, and and which is why there were no escalations yeah people were talking with possibly each other that uh, uh, maybe system is not is not working fine maybe there is a bug but then there was never a question on on the intent uh, of the organization now that's something which we discovered like that's the thing that's the beauty of the thing that we have created uh, you know over the last two and a half three years building this entire organization with organizational trust so that's something which we which which came by as a very positive surprise uh, and and we were glad that uh, our, our employees uh, knew that if this has this has possibly gone amiss it will be remedied without any escalations my goodness yaar i mean you guys are first of all insane second of all <laughs> you guys are creating an amazing product and you have actually implemented your uh, i should say the vision inside the company mm-hmm. itself on the first note and then you're putting it in the product so that the other companies can experience it the similar way and honestly listening to it that there has been there wasn't any escalation till the midday and we all of them thought that it was a bug so if i think of it from a bigger perspective let's say by uh, i want this to happen honestly that in the upcoming years tesla or nasa or intel samsung apple microsoft these companies start using your product and you know they have got thousands and thousands of employees now if all the employees actually knows that you know there's this system out there which actually keeps a track of everything and if a place pay slip like list goes wrong they know that there could be a problem in the system but not in the intent of the company so that's a huge amount of trust and hats off to you guys that you know you you have actually combined it somewhere with the tech and although i'll get to this part also because i have a question there which is kind of taking me but this thing of following an inside out approach so by the by the way just tell me one thing pratik have you read this book start with why oh, absolutely that's uh, uh, i believe that's a that's a very fundamental first principle book uh, fantastic book anyway uh, 
right so that is what you know i see happening at gym also that you guys are following the inside out approach that uh, and exactly what you mentioned earlier also that your company's uh, employees are the ambassadors of the company right now so you know this actually brings me to this uh, next thing that you know there are so many uh, companies out there which from which uh, their employees turns out to be leaders so now i want to know how that how uh, how do you think that this uh, better employee experience can improve employee engagement and you know create better leadership skills in the employees hmm better better leadership skills and better employee engagement sure sure sir that so i mean from what we understand of of people uh, you know people really want to do some fantastic work they want to do they want to do a meaningful work across their life which they can be proud of uh, you know they they were there some legacy but somehow uh, because the context of organizations is broken uh, they they are tied to doing the mediocrity or or the average work uh, mm-hmm. now now when it comes to leadership and employee experience uh, you know uh, i mean leadership is is as good as you motivating we, we believe that it's as good as you motivating yourself every day to get out of the bed to get out of the bed and go to work uh, you know to work mm-hmm. towards your why day in day out day in day out that's that's i mean right. that's that's the start point of leadership uh, where mm. where people are driven where they believe first of all in what they are doing uh, they are driven to make an impact to move the needle toward towards achieving it on a daily basis and there is this hunger to to there there is this hunger to relentless hunger which does not get them settled till the time they are able to reach uh, reach their intent intended uh, milestone so we we believe you know that when when this is mixed with other things you know which we call it as employee experience which is a lot more about trust which is a lot more about capabilities which is a lot more about data lot more about uh, you know speed of it you know so uh, when you have lot more data you are able to make better decisions uh, when you are oh. able to make better decisions you are able to make more meaningful decisions uh when you are able to make more meaningful decisions you are able to move the needle uh at at a at, at quite an optimal uh, to to its optimality uh you know and of course that's where the trust gets built that's where the credibility part happens because a lot of commitments are getting uh, are 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 getting uh, fulfilled so we we believe that if till the time we are we our job is to get those driven people uh, and set the context of pur- purpose culture values uh, and employee experience uh, 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 you know embed with each other uh, and till the time we are able to do that uh, you know leadership entrepreneurship uh, employee experience uh, all of these happens Uh, over a period of time so and that's the magic which gets created by the combination of driven people who want to make an impact every day who are hungry who pursue excellence and when they are uh, when they are given a platform of uh, a vision uh, 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 the culture of how to behave you know where they are where they are okay. mixing with their teams uh, and making their teams successful uh, Uh, the values which helps them be better people day in day out that's when we see holistic growth and the leadership and employee experience coming out like i get it i get it i mean this is this is very insightful because you know listening to this i i think and i believe and i'm and, and i'm able to understand better that you know when all, all this trust and engagement starts happening and the way you explained it and that these people start pushing their teams to reach the goals along with themselves also working hard towards it i guess this is what nurtures the leadership skills and this is what eventually turns them into leaders because you know we 
you know i know that there are so many employees who have turned out to be such an amazing cxo cfo cmo um, i mean ceos and what not mm-hmm. for different companies out there and uh, and these uh, these ceos have actually stemmed out from many biggies so that means these biggies are somewhere nurturing such kind of culture right which is actually helping these people become such good leaders am i am, am i right to say that absolutely absolutely i mean and there are there are like numerous instances of what we see every day uh, that a lot of companies go on promoting entrepreneurship uh, or the entrepreneurial uh, the entrepreneurial side of things and that's that's where they are trying to align the personal why's of the people to the organizational why uh, and, and that's a brilliant thing to do uh, uh, when uh, uh, uh there's this one thing to to align everybody to an organizational why but mm-hmm. when people have people have their personal why's as well uh, and when organizations try to connect the dots with the personal why uh, uh you know it it often ends up creating a winning circle so uh pratik talking about it and you know the talking about the leadership that these big biggies have done and you know you're giving me such a good explanation that as to why I'm also right on that part to believe that and understand the things so zimmo is actually playing an amazing role in creating this aura and for the companies out there but what still remains a question for me and although there are some clarity there is some clarity that I have received while talking to you but it's, it's still a question that how exactly are you guys putting these intangible experiences mm-hmm. like you cannot put a put a number to my determination there's no scale to it no you cannot quantify my de- determination you cannot quantify my trust right but somehow you guys are putting all of these experiences employee engagement employee trust credibility accountability and what not into technology so how are you guys doing this sure sure so so we we are a, we are a combination of hr tech and fintech uh, and uh, with with hr uh, you know it it's a function which operates in backdrop it's always it's always been a behind the curtains function and one only notices its existence when something gets broken uh, like like mm-hmm. the like the pay slip example you know when something goes wrong uh, you know uh, that's when people come uh, 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 you know people come complaining uh, so uh, what what we are trying to do is we are trying to put hr at the forefront with the employee experience uh, thing but not just that you know it's 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 uh, in this case you know while being at forefront hr is enabled with a lot of intuitivity with a lot of data and a lot of people centric practices so mm-hmm. that's that's like the that's like one side of it that's that's how we are transforming the entire hr experience uh the second side is the fintech side of it and possibly you know uh, uh after elaborating the uh, the hr side i will i will touch touch uh on the fintech aspect as well but uh, on the on the hr side uh, uh let let me give you some exam example like while the trust sure. the credibility are are something which are difficult to quantify but something as as something as important as a pay slip to an employee now that's the only number of organizational trust an employee has but mm-hmm. when when that goes wrong the entire employee experience uh, goes for a toss but and and the amount of time it takes to remedy that situation it can be from one, it can be from at least 2 to 3 days to a week now think about this i mean the employee has has been slogging for like 30 days it's it's last day of the month or possibly next week of of the uh, uh, the first week of the next month or so uh, but mm. they are still yet to receive the right uh, the right amount uh, which i mean it it hits their motivation completely so something as simple 
as getting that right every time you know and why it happens every time is because at because with simio everything is integrated you know the chance of error rate is minimal because there is just no manual intervention over here everything is integrated everything is automated it all happens uh, in as easy as three clicks so every every month you know uh, my team generates pay slips and similarly pay slips for for other clients uh, you know in in like three easy clicks that's it and because it's integrated it 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 cannot go wrong uh, this is a very minimal possibility of that now that's just a small example another small example you know how how we are making it intuitive is mm. uh, is uh, you must have seen uh, i mean all of us have uber ola zomato swiggy i mean all the consumer driven apps uh where we consume a lot of uh, a lot of what they provide on a daily basis now right. uh all of these apps possibly interact with us on a daily basis uh you know when you wake up there is a food app which tells you that hey you might want to go for this today or this is something this is something near your location which is best you know now we the the world of hr tech or a employee experience has not moved towards it so you know think of this when an employee walks into their office every day mm-hmm. how how can how can an app you know trigger a notification interact with a, with, with the person that hey i i detect you are in this location uh, where where our office is do you want me to clock you in you know today this, mm-hmm. this process is just uh, reverse it's it's employee who has to put something in the right. system and that possibly happens at the day end uh, or it possibly right. at the weekend as well you know where employees put in for every day uh, in in one single go you know if that happens when the system automatically triggers uh, uh, triggers an interaction with with the employee on a daily basis uh, what happens is when when the system does that it is also able to gauge the mood of the employee uh, uh, you know if they are possibly running late it knows that you know the employee is possibly hassled uh, if they are early on time then it knows that yeah uh, they are having an important day possibly Uh, so then mm. it triggers a lot of other interaction in the system that if it was an important day how was your day uh, what all mm. things went by we, these are the permutations that we are building uh, on on this side uh, so that that's just one example another another small example which uh, uh, which uh, which we are which we are doing which we are working on is say when an employee works overtime uh on uh-huh. a, on on a continuous basis uh you know and uh, if they have some leaves uh, remaining when 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 they are reaching the month end you know how can a system trigger uh, an interaction a proactive interaction with that person that hey you have a pre approved leave you know from your team uh and uh, you should take some break uh, uh you know so I mean when I think of it as a person if I am getting such a notification what what triggers in my mind is that wow there is a pre approved leave which my team has possibly gifted me with uh, <laughs> because I have been working overtime my team know right. my team know now knows that how hard I am working to pull this off uh, and yeah I mean this 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 is a gift from them so uh, and and the system is telling them uh that uh, go for a break uh you know so that that's something which which we say is is a good employee experience and and this is not a gold standard this is this is just adding consumerization uh and and, and the intelligence intuitive layer to it now let me extend this to the fintech side you know okay the same example if uh, uh, if the com- if the employee is working overtime or over a trend you know on our fintech side how can there be a wellness offering or a health offering which is going to help Im- help the employee improve their quality of life now where does that get triggered from that gets triggered from the overtime and uh, uh, and and the this interaction that 
that we 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 are trying to build uh you know mm-hmm. that's the that's the other side of the thing so at, at zemio we are trying to put both of these things together with a with lot of intuitivity with data and then making it part of of people centric practices which is like getting hr at the forefront uh and making 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 every employee experience uh meaningful my goodness i mean i i didn't react honestly because you know you were so much in the flow i didn't want to break it but this is amazing like this is amazing i can't believe you know having all those notifications let's coming up to me and telling me that you know satak you can go out for a break and your manager knows it so chill and go you don't have to ask anyone i can't believe that you know my phone exactly telling me my, himself that you know satak go and ha- you've got an extra bonus because you worked over time i mean i didn't even go and tell anyone this is just as amazing as it could be so hats off honestly hats off to you guys to what exactly you're doing out there and this all experience is actually going to add to the you know better employee engagement and employees are actually going to feel happy because even on the personal level if i think of it and on my team mm-hmm. this is just you know surreal for me i mean this would just be like in a very very ideal situation and uh, the way i believe that you know you guys are working on your ai i don't really know that if the ai is there or not in your system but all these pncs that you guys are applying and uh, all this notification all the all the tellings clocking in clocking out those are hassles like honestly बस मुझे पता है बचपन में स्कूल में अटेंडेंस लगती थी है ना मुझे लगवाने में परेशानी होती थी बिकॉज आई वाज इन द काइंड ऑफ पर्सन हु वाज इन द क्लास इवन द व्हेन द अटेंडेंस वाज हैपनिंग अर्ली मॉर्निंग मैं मेरे पास उससे पहले से काम होता था मैं किसी एक्टिविटी में काम कर रहा था और मुझे जाके लगवानी पड़ती थी एंड आई वुड जस्ट से क्या उनको पता चल जाए तो काम हो जाए ना अदरवाइज वन टीचर वुड राइट अ नोट फॉर मी कि बेटा जाके अपनी क्लास टीचर को दे देना एंड शी विल गिव यू द अटेंडेंस आई एम लाइक ठीक है, I have my benefits with me, but still that was a hassle. Mm. And the way you guys are doing it, I mean honestly, I actually came up with another idea. You guys can expand it to schools also. Schools can have attendance system like this. <laughs> Wouldn't it be amazing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I... Wouldn't it be amazing? I mean, but like in बच्चे भी बहुत you know समझदार होते हैं. They'll probably go outside the school, mark their attendance, and go away. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. You know, we we can definitely have them on on our wish list uh, for for some day. Uh, but yeah, yeah I mean, right. uh, all of this is culmination of trust. So when when we build structures of trust, I mean, as you rightly said, you know, Apple is a brilliant company uh, because it delivers great products. Now that that organization has worked very hard to. may to build on organizational trust so as long as trust credibility capability all these are currencies uh, you know uh, which we are working on on a day to day basis uh, mm. this this can be this this can be replicated all across uh, you know so that's that's what our intent that that's what our vision is that end of day the employee experience is going to improve when the organization trust the employee lot more and it's reciprocated i mean uh, uh trust the employees equally trust uh, the organization so by by putting them as a part of our design of people centric processes and then with data and intuitivity uh that's where we are we believe that we are moving the needle closer to improving mm. organizational trust uh employee engagement and the true sense of employee experience uh, so yeah some day schools definitely uh, uh definitely will have it now this this is actually amazing i, I mean honestly my listeners are going to say something to me i don't know why but they like satak stop saying amazing but i know i can't stop saying this because this is actually so amazing and awesome to see that in the system that you guys have created but yes with that said i guess you have answered lots and lots of questions that probably ha- hang around our central topic that you know why the employee experience is broken and uh, all those questions are being answered and you know you have uh, actually given me a good good amount of understanding to 
this aspect and i'm sure that my listeners out there have a much much better understanding that how probably things could be nurtured better even if they want to make a difference from uh, themselves being an employee in any company they're working and uh, to all the leaders and chros listening out there this would definitely add to them that you know what exactly makes a difference because see at the end you actually make me understand that those offsites and all those gift hampers and all small bonuses those are like temporary stuff but what matters is the daily daily engagement the daily experiences what happens in the daily day to day life that's what matters so bang on to you guys for what you're doing right and with that said honestly uh, not left with any more questions i am at the end of the podcast and uh, before i end this i first tell my listeners hey guys so if you are working at any company and you know you can you must go out and reach out to your managers or cxos all those people, all those uh, uh, executives out there and the leaders out there and tell them that you know get zim your first because this is really amazing and it's going to help you guys work much better believe me and uh, next thing like personally i'm going to implement this soon for my company like as soon as i can and uh, next thing if you want know, to follow pratik go and follow him on linkedin and you can hit him up on linkedin and instagram you can you know my handle some sada question you can hit me up on linkedin and facebook and with that said uh pratik i want to thank you so much for like you know you made out time to come on the show and talk about uh that why the employee experience is broken from all your 13 14 years of experience the vast experience that you have and you know giving my audience such an amazing insight it was it is really amazing talking to you i'd say it's it's like why satak i i i really enjoyed the conversation uh, definitely a delight to be to be with you and on the podcast uh, yeah, thank you thank you so much pratik i'll definitely see you soon bye 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 satak I hope that you're able to take back something insightful from this podcast and apply it in your life to be a better version of yourself and add to your dhandoni soch. If you know someone whom you think should feature on my podcast and has a very inspiring entrepreneurial journey, then do drop me a DM on my Instagram S A R T H A K V A R S H N E Y Sarthak Varshne. Yeah, that's me. I'm the founder of SV Clicks and SV Clicks is the producer of this show. You can find me on Facebook or LinkedIn as well with the same name. If you're willing to listen to more of such unheard inspiring stories of the entrepreneurs, then don't forget to follow us by pressing that follow button on your podcast screen. Thank you for being such an amazing audience. Keep learning, keep growing. We'll be back soon. See ya.